Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. A pleasant good morning. Happy Thursday. This is a sports video from Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. For my baseball fans, as it is giving prop to the San Francisco Giants for locking up for 16 mil a year, 32 million total for two years until his end of his age 36 season, Brandon Crawford. Their shortstop, who has been a silky smooth defender since he's walked into the league, and just at the season of 34 years of age, had his best hitting season, hitting a whopping 298, having 90 RBIs and 24 home runs, and at that age, still 11 steals because he's not the fastest cap, but he picks his spots well, and had 43 steals in his entire career with 11 being at his age 34 season. He really played well, really impressed for Gabe Kapler's club, and really has had good years um, when it's come to being with Gabe, because his last off year, when it comes to average, was in 2019. This kid, really, well, he's not a kid anymore, but when he was, he was a great fielder from 24 through 27 when he came up in 2011. Didn't have the best hitting stat from 2011 through 2014. At age 28, at 15, goes up to 256, hits 21 homers, 84 RBIs, really established himself there. Then 84 RBIs again the next year, being great on the triples alley, having 11 home or 11 triples, excuse me, the 12 home runs, and then he goes to having 77 RBIs with a 253 average, 254 average, then down to 228 and 19, bounces back in the shortened season, has 28 ribbies in 256 and 54 games, 193 at-bats, or plate appearances, excuse me, 172 at-bats, and then in 138 games, he has a stellar season of 298, 373, 522 slash line, where he has 24 home runs the most in his career, and 90 RBIs the most in his career as well, having a career year, and having a OPS plus of 141, which is absolutely ridiculous, well above his career average of a 100, so he destroyed his career average, 254 um, batting average to 298, the Giants were very wise to pay him when they did, because Brandon Crawford was a very good commodity on this free agent market, yes, it's full and stocked of shortstop, but if you're a team that's looking for a shortstop that fits in more like, say, even the Philadelphia Phillies, that are a team that, yes, Dumbro, Dumbro now, Dave Dombrowski, committed to telling Stop basically to come in having the mindset of you're going to have every chance to make the team in the preseason. But they were a team that you were thinking because Didi wasn't guaranteed a spot. Might be good to get a veteran that you just know what you're getting from them, great fielder, and that has been betting better, honestly, in the elder parts of his career when it comes to the hitting side. But he got locked up by the Giants. That was smart because teams can go out and grab Crawford on the cheap. Not the cheap, $16 million is not cheap. But for baseball, salary terms on the cheaper than having to pay a Trevor Stray, having to pay a Marcus Simeon, having to pay a Carlos Cray, having to pay a Corey Seager. You're able to get this guy in your team that fits in maybe more to your salary threshold when you're more of a middle market team or a team like the Phillies that already has some big contracts elsewhere that it might not be as easy to fit in those cats of the world, but will be easier to fit in the Crawford. So they didn't have that issue, the Giants having to try to lock him up after the season and worry about him saying, well, I'm coming off of this year, I'm going to go jump somewhere else. But I don't think the Giants ever had to worry about that in because Crawford seems like a mighty loyal guy, a guy that is obsessed with San Francisco's won a silver slugger there. The position's been in the All-Star game three times, won four gold gloves and two World Series, so why wouldn't he want to stay in the great state of Sit? Well, the great the great city of San Francisco in the great state of California. Why would he not want to stay there? But if he did hit the free agent market, I ain't so sure Brandon Crawford would have been around that long because it's harder to sign those really big deals and convince people to that than it is to get the veterans sometimes in there for the nice two-year deal and convince them to come to a nice competitive team. So it was very smart for the Giants, and I'm going to do a video later on Miguel Rojas, who got locked up in the end of October, for them locking their veteran shortstops up that are guys that people definitely easily would have loved to have on their teams to be able to substitute for if they can't pay for those very top-tier 
guys there in the stories, simians, and etc. of the world. So this has just been a video giving props to the Giant for signing Brandon Crawford. It was a savvy move then to be able to get out in front of it, and it's paying off more now as after the season he continued to have success down to the end of the season. And he would have been a hot commodity in the free agent market for teams that can't afford those upper-tier shortstops. Where now the second tier was taken away by the signing of Crawford back, of course, in August. And now has been fully taken away with the signing of Miguel Rojas. So have a great and safe day, everybody. This has been Sports Night News. I'm DeBorg. If you enjoy the content, subscribe on the subscribe button down below or on the easy-to-use widget up above. I really appreciate you and stay safe out there.